Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark and Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the second raid or the extreme class raid versus Gamma 2. So this is the extreme clash raid versus Gamma 2 as part of the superhero collaboration event. And it's very similar, in fact it's obviously identical uh, to event 1. So basically you can earn yourself some raid medals. You can earn yourself some Panenko medals as well, and you can earn yourself a thousand Chrono Crystals. So all pretty nice rewards. There's also some Legends limited power, but you need to act fast because once the raid boss expires, that's it. You're not going to be able to get your hands on anything. Yeah, but otherwise that's pretty much it when it comes to the you know, overall raid. Obviously there are battle bonus characters. It's quite nice that they changed it up, I think. Uh, Piccolo has the highest boost right now for the battle, which is quite nice. Pan also has a decent sized boost, and they gave up Pan for free, so there is some bonus there. Obviously, the characters will increase the bonus medals. Uh, if you're like me and you only have Pan and the two free to play units, that means you're going to get 50 bonus medals. Uh, I have Pan, and she was given out, and obviously, we have the Fierce Fight Metal Cooler and the Fierce fight super 17 so all pretty good stuff that being said uh the rewards are pretty good a thousand chrono crystals that's going to be most players aims uh, and also of course uh, the 100 legends limited power which is also a decent value as well beyond that you get some limited time rewards for doing three attempts per day so make sure that you do that and otherwise everything else is pretty straightforward i'm going to be switching out uh, the Super 17 for the pan, uh, just so that I have a bit of a stronger unit. Uh, and of course, that's basically it. Obviously, equipment matters, uh, and the units you use also matter. So make sure that you choose units that have the battle bonus or that give a good team boost or power boost, so that you obviously have some pretty good coverage for your team. But that is basically it when it comes to the event. The only remaining thing is to look at completing the challenges. Most of them, again, pretty straightforward. Using a character that's Saga from the movies and also making sure you perform a dual impact. And that's basically it. Uh, there's nothing else to it. We're going to do one fight so that I can give some tips. But at this point, you can probably... Uh, leave the video unless you are obviously looking at seeing how crap I am at hyperdimensional co-op. But yeah, so the raids are basically just hyperdimensional co-op with a boss that has 50 health bars. So it's nothing too wild in the sense of it's not you know something uh, where you're going to have like a bajillion uh, you know, power level. It's not going to be super hard. You're not going to need the absolute best units can see I'm pairing up with this guy and he pretty much just has uh, essentially the you know standard ultra rare Goku you really do want to try uh, and have essentially the best uh, overall kind of team build to help your friends you really don't want to I don't want to say waste time but you don't want to be uh, caught in a position where you are unfortunately hindering yourself uh, especially in terms of how you know far and how long things take it's generally I would say considered a good idea to go with a unit that's going to make your time a lot easier rather than going with something that's going to make your you know, your time a lot harder at least with that being said of course it can change for everyone uh, you may struggle at any given point in time uh, but don't try and turn people away. You'll see I ran with this guy even though he had an ultra rare Goku. The main reason being it's just a really fantastic way to obviously uh, help out and to obviously cover everything. I, I really didn't want to uh, you know, prevent this guy from having his, high, his raid run. So I made sure that I ran with him. Uh, fortunately, as always guys, uh, number one rule is you want to break the blue shield. By breaking the blue shield you generally give yourself a pretty decent chance. Um, break the blue shield, use your special moves after the blue shield is broken and then also use the ultra rising rush uh, as well. As you can see we did that so all pretty standard stuff. Obviously because of the Goku uh, we didn't do enough damage 
to strictly defeat uh, Gamma 2, but we did do enough damage to kind of uh, proceed from there. So uh, we managed to break the shield again. Uh, we also get very lucky in that we get a dual impact. Uh, a dual impact occurs when you charge the boss and the boss charges you and you essentially manage to clash with him and thus uh, create an opening for your opponent to join in. When you see a clash, try and make sure that you use a physical strike or a key blast strike. Don't use an ultimate strike. You actually lose out on a little bit of damage. So I would definitely make sure that that happens. Uh, as you can see, we clash here and our good friend Goku comes in. You can see it does a significant amount of damage uh, to his bar. So 100% you should consider doing that. Uh, as well as when your ally has an exclamation mark above his head, Make sure that you press them so that you dive in the way and perform a cover change and then you'll be able to have a pretty good time as well. So overall, uh, some pretty good stuff, uh, you know, to cut a long story short. Um, yeah, I think for the most part, um, yeah, it is a very straightforward system. So if you've done this before, then generally speaking, you shouldn't have that hard a time doing it again. Uh, obviously, you know, you can struggle each and every single time, it depends. Maybe your uh, friend or your ally that you use won't uh, do the rush at the same time. There can always be problems, but generally speaking, you should be okay, at least from what I've experienced. And yeah, that is basically it. So obviously we got the win. It did take a little bit longer than I wanted, uh, but that's not too big a deal. So yeah. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff and yeah of course as always a uh, relatively simple system there are some missions involved as well for completing it so you definitely want to do that and yeah that is basically it when it comes to the extreme clash raid it's literally the same as the first part so uh, you shouldn't have a huge issue and that's it so thanks guys for watching and i will see you in the next video so until then take care stay safe and as always, see you next time. Bye.